Shh, quiet. If you wake him up, he'll talk about shipping. Shipping? What? What? Shipping? What? Oh, no, you've done it. Great Scots! It's been almost an hour. What the devil are they doing? Get in shape with Comic Book Man. Ship shape for Wednesday, January 26th, 2011. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for Ship Shape Update. Update. What are we going to learn here, Comic Book Man? And this is your update for Wednesday, January the 26th, 2011. This is your teachable moment for everything that's shipping to the store this coming Wednesday. And if you come in this Wednesday, you will find six reorder items. Oh, well, that's because there was a million last week. But you'll also find 158 new items, oh, wow. and altogether that comes out to 164 total items that are not here at Alternate Reality right now, but will be here this coming Wednesday, 26th of January, 2011. Doors open at 8 a.m. as back. always, so come on down here. And of those 164 items, 119 are new comics, and those 119 new comics are all 15% off all week long here at the store, and that comes out to $48.52 worth of savings, but I'm going to talk more about that at the horse race. Oh my goodness. Uh, earlier updates starting this week. This show is coming to you earlier than it has in the past, and the store's website has been updated earlier than it has in the past, and that's the way things will be from now on, because Diamond has changed around a lot of their dates, that they send me stuff, and a lot of the dates that I have to get stuff to them, and because of all that shuffling and moving around, we're able to get this show to you... Days earlier than we have in the past, and the store's website is also going to be updated days earlier than it has in the past. So on the website, look for next week's shipping sometime around Thursday. Look for this show to be online on YouTube and available at the store's website sometime probably around Friday. Okay, so from now on, starting with this episode, that's the new way of the world here at the Video Outhouse. Uh, also going on this week, you should know about, of course, is the Fantastic Four is the Hero of the Month sale. And that continues this week, but it's going to be wrapping up very soon. And Fantastic Four 587 is actually shipping this week. That's the issue where one of the Fantastic Four is supposed to die. I still don't think so. But one of the Fantastic Four is supposed to die. We will see who it is. It's shipping this coming Wednesday. And of course, because of that, all my Fantastic Four trade paperbacks and back issues have been 25% off all week long here at the store. I also have a large selection of recent vintage Fantastic Four comics that are only a buck each. Dollar, I'm dollar daying them out the front door. $2.99, $3.99, $4.99 comics. They're all here and they're all a buck each. So come on down this week and as I say in the commercial, celebrate the death of one of the members of the Fantastic Four by saving 25% off back issue or trades and back issues and pay only a buck and each. This is your comics. last chance. <laughs> Coming up on the end of that. Right. Uh, Fantastic Four is not the book of the week this week. I picked something else and the book I picked is... Infest infestation number one of two from IDW. It's a two issue miniseries. It's got $3.99 cover price. It'll be $2.39 here at the store starting this coming Wednesday, the 26th. And for the whole week, you know, it's going to be $2.39, 40 week, pretty good. About forty percent off. It's written by Dan Abbott and Andy Lanning, and it's drawn by Dave Messina and Gabriel Rodriguez. And folks, it all begins here. The first ever IDW event. It will affect the Transformers universe, the GI Joe universe, the Star Trek universe, and even the Ghostbusters universe. No kidding. Uh, what, well, what is it? What is it? Well, something horribly, horribly wrong happens in the Zombies versus Robots universe, and that threatens all the other universes, or at least those four in IDW's pantheon of books, and zombies are going to invade all those books. You you really want, might want to check this out because this is going to be the very first time you're going to be able to see Ghostbusters and Transformers and Star Trek and G.I. Joe all thrown together and, and having to work towards fighting one common enemy, which of course is zombies and everybody loves zombies. On, on, a, on a side note, IDW started itself off by doing horror comics. That's what it made its bones off of with Steve Niles. And this is their first ever big crossover company-wide event. And they're using monsters as, as the catalyst for it. it makes, that makes all the sense in the world for IDW. Anyway, as I said, this is, this is coming in this Wednesday. It's also a 40-page book. Normally, $3.99 for a 40-page book is pretty good. Two thirty nine here at the store starting this week. Also this week, I've got six other books and comics and magazines that are 40% off, and they are, comic book-wise, Age of X Alpha number one. It's got a three ninety nine cover, two thirty nine here at the store this coming Wednesday only. It's from Marvel, written by Mike Carey. The art's by a whole bunch of folks. Paul Davidson, Gabriel Hernandez, um, uh... Hernandez Walla, uh, Harvey Tolaballo, Carlo Barberini, and some other folks. 
The final war starts here, and if you don't know which side you're on, then you better check your DNA. Uh, the survival of mutant kind rests on the shoulders of just a few remaining mutants who are left, and they are uh, they are on their last legs. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. I gotta check my DNA. What what will this group do to keep mutant kind alive? Find out starting this coming Wednesday. It's 32 pages, and it's rated A, Marvel rated A, which means it's good for just about everyone. Uh, also this week, comic book wise, New York Five, number one of four from DC Vertigo, two ninety nine cover, one seventy nine here at the store. It's written by Brian Wood, who also does DMZ and Northlanders, and it's drawn by Ryan Kelly, who's drawn Lucifer and the indie book Local in the past. Uh, this is actually a sequel to the Minx book New York Four. We've talked about this on the DC News in the past with Bo. This is the sequel to the New York Four book, uh, which was a one shot trade paperback from Minx. This is a four issue miniseries. There's nothing more exciting than college life in the big city, but complications can follow from all sorts of dark places, and not just from your boring hometown. Oh, it's, this has got all sorts of teen angst written all over it. Anyway, there's no interior ads. It is black and white. It's 32 pages, though, and it's a mature reader's book, so stop down for that. Also this week, I got one magazine, and that's Wizard number 235. It's got a $5.99 cover price. It will be $3.59 this coming Wednesday. The world's number one comic book magazine powers up with a big Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern cover story. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And also, <laughs> they have an article on the best comic book breakups ever. Why? Because February is Lover's Month because of Valentine's Eight Day. whole pages. Eight whole pages. <laughs> so be sure to check that out. Trade paperback-wise, i got three trades that are coming in this week that are 40% off. Angel, the John Byrne Collection hardcover. $24.99, $14.99 here at the store this coming Wednesday. Collection includes the two-part Angel vs. Frankenstein for story, the four-part Blood and Trenches story, as well as a four-page Lorne backup that Byrne illustrated in After the Fall first night. Uh, comic book industry legend John Byrne dives headfirst into the angel verse and he does whatever the hell he feels like doing with it because John Byrne all he wants to do is just have a lot of properties carved on his tombstone that that's what he worked on. When they write this guy's obituary you're going to have this list of incredible credits that are on there and that's all he cares about. All those books get thrown in the grave with him. <laughs> also this week Spider-Man Fantastic Four hardcover a $19.99 cover price $11.99 here at the store written by Christos Gage penciled by Mario Alberti this collects Spider-Man Fantastic Four miniseries one one through four. It also collects Spectacular Spider-Man 42 and Fantastic Four 218. Creative team behind the sellout X-Men Spider-Man miniseries returns for a brand new tour through classic untold team-ups between Spidey and the FF. Oh, you you want you, this is actually it was a very nicely drawn book and it was very well written in miniseries when it came out. So you might want to come in for that. And our last 40% off book this week is The Avengers by Brian Bendis Hardcover, Volume 1, $24.99 cover, $14.99 here at the store, written by Brian Bendis, of course, penciled by Johnny Romita Jr. Uh, this collects Avengers 1 through 6, the series that's out right now that, that came out in 2010. Uh, Bendis and Romita, of course, came up for the very first time to create the new Avengers team. Ushering, ushering in the heroic age of Marvel Comics, and they fight Kang the Conqueror, who wants to rewrite history for the umpteenth millionth time. Go to hell with him. 144 pages, rated A, which means it's good for all folks. And that are the 40% off books for this week. And now it's time for the horse race. Coming in this week is Marvel, roaring ahead with 29 books. Coming in second is DC in second place with 18 books. Third is Image with 12 books. Fourth is IDW with 6 books. Fifth is Dynamite with 5 books. I also have 19 indie titles this week. 30 Crab Factor titles for a grand total of 119 comics that are coming in this week. Now, altogether, if you added up all the new comics that are coming in this week, it would be $323.52 worth of comics. But since I give them to you at 15% at off, that's only $274.99 that you'd pay. Now, you're saying to yourself, I'm not going to buy all those comics. No, but what you ought to keep in mind is I'm knocking $48.52 off of that total if you were to buy them all. So come in for your piece of the pie this week. Even if you're just buying one, come in for your piece of the pie. I don't beg them to save some money, comic book man. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to the kids' corner to see what's going on in kids' all shipping right, we'll this see week. You later, then. <laughs> And we're in the kids' corner with all the shipping for kids of all ages that's coming in this week. Uh, first up, I want to cover reorders. Got a couple of things coming in this week. Harvey Classics Treasury, Volume 1 Casper trade paperback, coming back to the store this week. Superhero Squad Infinity Sword Quest trade paperback is coming back this week. And X Babies Classic trade paperback graphic novel, Volume 1, is coming back this week. Those aren't here right now, but they will be here this coming Wednesday. Now, for new stuff, I've got new stuff coming in this week as well. Trade paperback-wise... Marvel Adventures Spider-Man Spectacular Digest. That's a mouthful. Trade paperback is coming in this week. That's my one trade for kids. Magazine-wise, I've got Archie's Friends 
Archie and Friends Double Digest number two. That's that new digest that they did, Archie and Friends Digest. And Simpsons Comics, Ma Simpsons Classics Magazine number 27 is coming in this week. Those are the only magazines I've got no show and tell for you this week because nothing's come in, but I promise you I'll have more next week. Uh, comic book wise, I've got Cartoon Network Action Pack number 56. Fraggle Rock, Volume 2, Number 2 of 3. We just had a Fraggle Rock neck last week. Either they're bunched up on their shipping or it's a weekly comic now. <laughs> Futurama Comics, Number 53. Jughead, 205. Scratch 9, Number 4 of 4. It's the last issue for that series. Walt Disney's Comics and Stories, Number 715. And the Kids' Book of the Week is Spider-Man, Number 10. Written by Paul Tobin. Penciled by Matteo Lali. Another one of our fine, fine, fine Italian, I believe. Uh, artists uh, that uh, are working in the industry right now. Spidey becomes a teacher for a hero in training named Chili Storm, the Lynx. But all, but is it all a publicity stunt for her modeling career? And what happens when the deadly scorpion, that the green guy with the big tail, when the scorpion crashes their class? Oh my God! Thirty-two pages, and of course it's good for all ages. Why did I pick this book? Because there's nothing really outstanding coming in for kids this week. I haven't picked Spider-Man for a while, so Spidey gets to be the kids' book of the week. And now it's time to go to the Command Central and check out this week's late list. And we're back from the Kids Corner. Time for the late list. Uh, I've got 51 items added to the late list for this week. Be sure to go to the store's website and check them out. Every late list page or every every shipping page has got the late list on it. I update it every week. I take the old stuff off, put the new stuff on. 51 items added this week. Be sure to check it out. Uh, this week, some of the items of note added are... Amazing Spider-Man uh, 656 and 657 have both been pushed back. Astonishing X-Men 36 and Astonishing X-Men Xenogenesis number 5 have both been pushed back. Casanova Gula 2 and 3 have both been pushed back. Uh, Formic Wars 1, 2, and 3, that's one of those uh, literary adaptations that Marvel does. The first three issues have all been pushed back. Uh, over on the DC side, Flash 9 and 10, a perennial late list member of the last six months that, or so. It's hilarious that the Flash have, can't get out. Have been pushed. Yeah, well, he's always late. That's yeah. a joke. Barry Allen's always late. Uh, has been pushed back. Uh, and one, and one Kids Corner thing I've mentioned, SpongeBob Comics number one has been pushed back. Uh, I actually had someone come in the store and ask me about the SpongeBob comic a week ago, and I said, there's no SpongeBob comic. And then look what shows up. And then I remembered, oh, that's right, there is a SpongeBob comic coming. Uh, SpongeBob number one has been pushed back, so if your little one's looking for SpongeBob, tell him to hold on at least until the 9th of February. Give him uh, a real sponge till he shows up. The basket case for the week, though, the basket case for the week is Green the Lantern. There we go. Green Lantern. Number 62 and 63, they've both been pushed back. 62 to the 9th of February, and 63 to something else. Uh, what do I got here? Uh, no, no, the 2nd no, no, no. of March. 2nd of March, 2nd of March. So uh, both of those have been pushed back. 60, the interesting thing about that is 62 is, is the last brightest day, official brightest day book for Green Lantern. 63 is the first War of the Green Lanterns book. <laughs> so so the last brightest day Green Lantern is going to be late, and the first War of the Green Lanterns book is going to be late. That might have something to do with a creative problem between making that shift over and the transition. But we will see. We will see. Anyway, those are coming. Uh, last thing I want to mention before we get out of here, checklist. Go to the source checklist. And on the checklist page, right-click and hit print on your computer, and this is what should come print, spitting out. This is a whole 119 comics that are shipping this week to the store. Uh, this list you can have for your very own and to keep and to have and to hold. And, you know, I ought to mention I don't do this often enough when I'm doing the checklist, but this is just about everything that's shipping comic book-wise this week. I get almost everything that ships. I get all the Marvels. I get all the DCs, Image, Dark Horse. I get all that stuff every week. There's only a handful of indies that I don't get. And this, no matter where you're at in the country, this list is good, you know, for any store, any place. This is the shipping list for the week. Anyway. So it's uh, good. It, it doesn't only work here. It works everywhere. It works everywhere. So that's it. We're done. We're finished. We're out of here. Remember, we're coming to you earlier from now on, starting with this episode. You probably, if, if you were looking for this episode in the middle of uh, last week, if, you know, farther down the road. We've been up now for a couple of days. Well, and the website's been updated for a couple of days. So be sure to check us out earlier. Until next time, this is Comic Book Man saying... Go Bears! Go Bears! Bye! Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.